If your employees receive cash tips directly from customers, IRS requires reporting an allocation of tip shortfall on IRS Form 8027 and on the employee's W-2. By federal law, the default allocation rate is 8% of gross receipts. Centerpoint Payroll has a process to calculate the tip shortfall allocation. First of all, you want to make sure that the earnings is set up with the correct uh, type of tip for direct tips. We have an earning here under, uh, I went to set up, payroll details and earnings, and I'm editing my direct tips. On the right hand side are three different options for tips, a tips where no allocation of tip shortfall is required, indirect tips, which are tips that are uh, perhaps uh, paid out to a busboy from a waiter, and direct tips are tips received directly from the customer. So this is a direct tip, and when you select this option, you'll also need to fill in the allocation rate, which currently is 8%, 8.00. And we'll wanna save that. And this tips would then be assigned to the employees that are receiving direct tips. And next you'll use that earning in a timesheet or directly into pay employees. Um, if you're using timesheets, the other thing you'll want to turn on is the gross receipts because we'll also have to identify the gross receipts that the tips were paid on. Um, if you right click on the blue row and select add remove columns, there will be an option for gross receipts. And then you can position that um, in a different place if you want. We're gonna put it right there after amount. And right now it's grayed out if we were to choose um, a different type of earning, it is still grayed out. But if I choose my tips earning, now the gross receipt becomes active and in the rate is where you'd want to put the uh, tips that the employee reported to you. Now this isn't going to be an amount that gets included on their net pay, um, but it will be what they reported that they received in tips. So we're gonna put that they received zero seven dollars and the re gross receipts was 120. And then you'd also wanna include the other earnings that they uh, normally receive because that's what they're going to be actually paid with. All right, so, um, and that regular pay is where the taxes calculated for the direct tips are going to be absorbed into. So we would go ahead and save that. Um, now I have that uh, same scenario on pay employees that I've already posted. So I have a pay run here. And if I go to enter pay and highlight Stacy and expand the timesheet earnings, here we have our direct tips that were $7. If we scroll over, let's squish this up a little bit. And we have a gross receipts of 120 and her restaurant server earnings for $120. Notice that up at the top under gross earnings, it's still indicating the 120, not including the $7 direct tips. Under employee taxes, the taxes for Medicare and Social Security are getting calculated by the 127. So if we take 127 times the 0 0.062, you would get the $7.87. And once that's posted, this is already a posted pay run, then we are now able to go and calculate the tip shortfall allocation. So we can go up to processes and tip shortfall allocation and change our date out here to the ending date that we want to calculate as of. It will calculate always from the beginning of the calendar year, so January 1 uh, for the tax year, to whatever uh, date you select here and tips reported through. And then we're going to click load grid. That will load any employees that it sees with uh, gross receipts and direct tips. And we see the $120 of gross receipts that was entered. Um, this could be changed if needed, um, if the right amount wasn't put in the actual pay run, um, this could be changed. And the reported tip amount, that is an amount that you cannot change. 
And then we're going to click the allocate button at the lower left. That brought in our gross receipts and our total direct tips that were reported. If this employee also had a tip that was indirect tips, that would be included here, but it would still not affect the total allocated shortfall. So it calculated $3 based on $120 times 8% is $9.60 some cents, and it rounded uh, then the difference of $10 minus 7 equals the $3. And we can save that. There are reports that you can then report on that tip shortfall under process, or, I'm sorry, reports and payroll tax data reports and tip shortfall. And if we go ahead and just preview this, we will see Stacy's $120 receipts and tips of $7 and allocated shortfall of $3. And then we can also see if we run the W-2 on Stacy, which I've done here, that we have her Social Security wages and Medicare wages, which there's a $7 difference because it takes the tips, the Social Security tips, puts it in box seven, and under box eight is the $3 tip shortfall allocation. So that that is reported correctly on the employee's W-2, and that would also be the information that you would use on your form 8027.